snow glows white on the highway tonight Not a vehicle to be seen A kingdom of isolation And Corona is the queen When I had my first baby, the hospital was packed And I had to share a room with a young black woman George made a big stink about the accommodation She must have heard him I know her baby was as cute as mine. Cuter, in fact. Rebecca was an ugly baby. She turned out fine, but ugly baby. Well, you'll get some idea of what she looked like if you see Sophia one morning with her teeth out. The point is, what am I supposed to think about my family? What am I supposed to think about all of those people that I love? What am I supposed to think about me? Everything I, I grew up believing in, all of my wonderful memories, all, all tarnished by, oh God, by, by the truth. He suffered neither from guilt nor grief as a result of the death of his four-year-old sister. They said that um, they waited and waited and uh, the family surrounded him with support. Um, they, they were certain that, um, that as, as soon as the shock wore off, the suffering would begin, but, but it didn't. It never Did you came. say anything else? Well, it's not necessarily. Uh, what else anything. did she say? She said that, um, it was her opinion that Jonathan doesn't know how to suffer, that he's, he's not capable of remorse or contrition. I can't remember why now. It must have been my mother not being organized. It's ringing a bell now, I, now that you said it. Good. <laughs> but you got my note. What note? Well, I sent you a note to say I couldn't come. I gave it to Eileen Pickford to give to you. Eileen? Yeah. Say, I was sorry I was letting you down, but this was my new address in Sheffield, so you could write to me. Did you? Oh, don't tell me you didn't get it. Oh, no. you didn't. Oh, well, it's a good job you'd forgotten, otherwise, you'd have spent the last 40 years thinking I'd stood you up. <laughs> sorry. Oh, is that what you thought? Oh, well, I suppose it might have. Well, that's the last time I ever ask Eileen Pickford to do anything for me. She's dead. Is she? Oh, well, well that'll teach her. You know, it's, it's, it's all come back to me now. Just seeing your face. I married her, Eileen. She were Gillian's mother. Oh, good Lord. Aye. Well, well, she was a nice lass. You're going to bury Mr. Hodgkiss in the cellar? Oh, yes, dear. That is what we did with the others. Look, here, Aunt Martha. You, you, others? The other gentlemen. Would you say others? Do you mean like others? Others? Like more than one others? Oh, yes, dear. Oh, my now, dear. Um, I think it was uh, 11, wasn't it, Abby? Oh, no, dear. This makes 12. Oh, but look, Abby, dear. I don't think you should count the first one. Well, 12! Yes, dear. Abby thinks we should count the first one. Never mind about that. Don't... That's why we told you not to bother about it, because we know exactly what's to be done. What about the others? All 12 of them didn't just walk in here and drop dead. Well, dear, for a gallon of elderberry wine, I take one teaspoonful of arsenic, and then a uh, half a teaspoonful of strychnine, and then just a pinch of cyanide. This is bullshit! In June of last year, a full disciplinary hearing alleged inappropriate contact with the family member of a patient. Look, I, I, I don't know what any of that means, but it... What? It's, it's cancer. It's children's cancer. And my husband is a warm, warm man. He's not some asshole who just tells you your child's going to die and walks out of the room. He, he's a very caring man. So perhaps he... Perhaps he, he, he touched someone. Perhaps he, he hugged someone. It doesn't mean he's some kind of... Don't protect him, because wherever Jonathan is, we're going to find him. Okay, this is what I... 
I am here in this room with a detective who is uh, uh, treating me as if I am a suspect and trying to elicit incriminating responses from me in a grossly custodial setting. So either you read me my Miranda rights right now, or I am free to go. Let the storm rage on. Don't want to catch the virus anyway.